I'm Rebecca Aldworth. I spend every day here at the Humane Society of the United States working to end the cruel slaughter of baby seals in Canada. We go out to the ice floes before the seal hunt begins and we film the spectacular harp seal nursery. And just days later, the sealers arrive in their boats. I think it's one of the most obscene things that I've ever seen. Carcasses staring up at you from all directions. But this year, I saw a survivor, and I remember kneeling down next to him and uh, trying to talk softly to him. He's still got some of his white hair but he could have been legally killed in this hunt. As soon as they start molting their white fur, they can be slaughtered. And he was shaking all over, and I knew in that instance that the only thing that I could do as a human being was to walk away from him. I named that seal Sully, and I think about him very often. To me, he's symbolic of a time when Canada seals will be allowed to live out their lives as the wild creatures they are and not as the fur coats they are killed to produce. In 2009, we scored a major victory when we convinced the European Union to end its trade in seal products. But Canada is fighting that ban, and the hunt is still set to begin in just three months. That's why seals like Sully are again counting on you to spare them from suffering. Please give the gift of hope to these seal pups. Please make your tax-deductible gift to the 2010 Animal Survivors Fund today.